Hey guys, you're joining me today, folks. It's more budget Pokemon. As you can see on screen now, today we are versus DWRC. So I think in the last episode we wanted to try, or we said that we wanted to try and get a Blissey sweep. I'm gonna just keep using Blissey for the first time over and over again for a few battles. Hopefully I can get one, but it looks like with his team I'm not gonna be able to. I mean, he's got three, maybe four special attackers, but. That might be it. The other two are pretty deadly towards Blister. But anyway, he has a Darkrai, Dialga, Lati Ass. I think that's Lati Ass. A Durantina O, a Kildeo, and a Palkia. So a pretty good team. Hope he doesn't swap into a physical type. Okay, that's good. He hasn't. So Dialga, I'm not too sure I'm going to take that out. I mean, I can't even poison it with Blister. So probably not going to be able to take that out. Unfortunately. Anyway, we're gonna get a Thunderbolt off on his Dark Cry. Okay, put me asleep again. Good draw, I got the um, Poison. It's probably gonna use another Dark Void. As you can see, I haven't brought my Mammoth Swine along with me this time. Because if I want to try and get Blisser to get a sweep, I'm gonna, it's gonna cost me a tank, so I'm gonna need another tank in replace. So, unfortunately, I haven't got no special tank, so just brought in the long a defensive tank, because why not? I mean, and then, even if Bliss is on low HP, I can just either heal it up with Soft Biode or I can swap into one of my defensive tanks if it's a physical attacking Pokemon, so hopefully that works out. I mean, Bliss is doing work on Darkrai right now, so I'm happy about that. I'm not too sure why he's not swapping out, though. It's a bit weird, but hey, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take the free KO. I'm going to get a heal on Bliss just because I'm going to need it if he's going to throw out a Dialga. Or a Keldeo next. Keldeo might be special, and I don't know yet. But I know that the Alga is going to be physical, unfortunately. Okay, it's going to send up Metical Metal Icona. I'm I'm sure I've heard that somewhere before. I just can't remember where. It was like Thunderbolt, or maybe ISBM is going to be the work. Roar of Time. If I might be Fairy Tail. The anime. I'm sure there's a dragon in there called Meti. That whatever that is, I can't pronounce it very well. But yeah, gonna heal. I'm actually surprised we've got paralysis on his Dialga, so that's gonna help a lot. Fully paralyzed. Okay, we might get a blister sweep if we're lucky. We'll try an ice beam, see if this works. Okay, it looks like it does a little bit more damage. Earth power is not gonna do too much. If he just keeps using Earth power, we should be able to sweep all his team. Hoping that that Keldeo doesn't have super power, because that is going to be very deadly. Flash Cannon, also special. Not too sure why he's using special attacks, but hey. If it gets me a sweet with Blissey, I will take it. Come on, don't use. For a Paralyze, that's good. So get another Ice Beam off. So at least Blissey can outspeed his um, Dialga right now. So even if he does get me low, I can heal up and I should be good. I'm going to heal up right now. Because I'm gonna say he's gonna use a physical move. In fact, it swaps out to Keldeo. A pretty good move. Good job, I healed. He's gonna have a physical move on this thing, unless he just uses um, Hydro Pump, which he did. At least we got a poison, I'll take that. I think Keldeo's weak to Thunder, or Electric even. I don't know why I said Thunder. I always get confused. Hydro Pump's not gonna do too much. I'll take it, I'll get a nice Thunderbolt off, plus the poison damage. Now we just want a Nova Thunderbolt, please use Hydro Pump again. Please. <laughs> Don't use a physical move. No! No! I could've got it! I mean, the other three Pokemon would've been so easy, I mean, Durantina definitely, Latios definitely, because Ice Beam would've destroyed them. Palkia, I guess Thunderbolt would've done work on it a little bit, but yeah, that, that was Pretty close if I got rid of the physical types. Um, let's sound out. Ooh. I have actually no idea. Let's sound out a little Gengar. I think he'll just be too psychic anyway. So we uh, get a psychic off on it. What I should have probably done is swapped out into Gengar and got a Will O Wisp on the Dialga and Keldeo. And that would have helped a lot. Anyway, psychic's gonna hit pretty hard. Okay, let's use a ghost move now. That should hopefully finish Durantina O off. 
Good shell sneak, that's gonna rip Gengar. Glad they didn't one hit KO it though. I was kind of expecting it to, but hey, I'll take the free KO there. Okay, we can actually use a pain split right now, which I'm going to to get a bit of health on Gengar. Because it the Spalkin might not one shot it, especially if it uses Hydro Pump, it might miss. So I'm gonna try it. Dragon Claw. That, wow. I'm gonna get no pain split off because 1 HP, that's gonna take Palky down a lot, I think. I actually did. Hey, I'll, I'll take it. But that's why I love pain split. It's so weird of a move. I don't think I've ever used it before until, again, I got this EV trained Gengar. Um, let's see, what's a good Pokemon to use against this? Not Gliscor, it's weak to water and ice. Probably Scizor, right? It's gotta be Scizor. Scizor's a pretty good Pokemon. Use a Bullet Punch, hopefully it does a bit of damage. Okay, Bullet Punch did no damage at all, Dragon Claw. Okay, well I'm glad you're using Dragon Claw, not a special type move. I'm gonna get a Sword Dance off, hopefully Bullet Punch can lend one hit. Palkia. Okay, Earth Power. I think Earth Power's special, I'm not too sure. We're gonna get another Bullet Punch off. Please get a crit and one has shot it. Finally. I'll, it's not even a crit, but hey, I'll take it. Okay, you should be able to take down the rest of the Pokemon easy. Er, now, I guess. I shouldn't say easy, because, I mean, just look at this Latios. It's probably gonna use a special attack and destroy Scizor, but I'm gonna go for a Night Slash anyway and hope that... I don't get KO'd first. Please. Dragon Claw. or Pulse. Okay, surprisingly, Slizor survived that. And he got the one hit KO, which was a crit. Wow, I'm lucky as hell. I am very lucky. And to be honest, I haven't used Salamance in a lot of PvPs recently. It's just too OP. Or at least it's one of my most overpowered Pokemon that I have on my team. I need to swap out Weavile for something, I don't know what to swap it out for. Because I, I like the fighting type on it, but then again, Scizor and Gliscor's got a fighting type move, so I'm not too sure. I'll probably swap it out for Mamoswine in the future, but hey, I'll have to check it out. Um, Brick Breaks should take down his Dialga, and that should be the battle. But if not, then just rip Scizor. I'm doubting it's not going to outspeed me. Okay, I think it shows the wrong team. <laughs> well, his team was pretty good, just that Blissey did a lot of damage to his Yalga. So, it could have turned out differently if he'd managed to take down my uh, Blissey quicker. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you comment and tell me what you're playing Roblox, including Project Pokemon. And like always, I will see you guys next time.